We were going to apply the principles of scientific research, the principles of design thinking, and kind of merge those into a process where we can solve really sticky, messy, wicked, real-world problems. What can you bite off and chew right now? You are going to have five hours. Go. So I'm making the flow chart. People are consuming manufactured food. Let's visualize. Historically, STEM really focused on understanding math, understanding science, and oftentimes that was created through rote memorization. Whereas now, people are realizing it's also a whole learning process and actually learning by doing. In the innovation process, students work in teams of about four to six students, and together they research a problem, they brainstorm solutions to that problem, they choose a concept to test, they test the, the concept and evaluate the results, and then they refine their solution based on what they learned. Okay, we don't know what you would add, but that's something we would come up with. I have an idea of creating awareness. Well, we were thinking we could have auto insurance and health insurance companies work together. The innovation process is sort of cross-border, cross-disciplinary. You know, any problem that requires a creative solution can benefit from this kind of thinking. It's like more streamlined, if that makes sense. This new perspective doesn't necessarily mean you pursue a career in STEM, but having that perspective, we believe, will enable one to succeed in any field. 30% of the world's population are anemic, so we proposed our own solution to this problem. When students enter the workforce, their employers aren't going to worry about the, uh, the book knowledge, the content knowledge that they learn. That's important, but they need to be able to work with colleagues and communicate clearly, problem solve, develop innovative ideas and solutions. All jobs are going to be STEM jobs in some way or another, regardless of whether they are in traditional STEM disciplines.